what's up everybody this is dds and in this video this is a beginner's um tutorial i guess i'll call it and it's simply how to open up vsts inside a machine this past week i've gotten so many comments about how do you open up vsts in the machine how do you load them up onto your machine studio your mk3 whatever it is so i'm going to go through the software and show you guys the way that i do it so first things first, I'm gonna talk about third-party plugins such as Nexus, Omnisphere, and Keyscape, things like that, things that aren't coming from native instruments directly. Uh, first things first, you need to make sure that when you install it, you are installing them into your VST folder, and then make sure that when you go to your preferences, you go down to libraries, or actually plugins, and your plugin location, like all your VST should show up in here. First off, let me show you that. Like, let me make sure Nexus is in here. So you can see like Keyscape right there. And the only reason I'm talking about Nexus is because somebody said they're having a hard time with that one for sure. Here's Nexus right here. Your locations need to be where you install your VSTs. If they're not, you will not be able to find them. So if you have installed them somewhere and the location is not here, you need to add it to it and then hit rescan and it should pull it up now from there once it's there all you have to do is go right here and then as you see you know your different plugins are here like nexus let me open it sorry it's taking a second i didn't think it was gonna take that long to open up nexus now let me go over to another group and open up another one serato samples another vst you know it loads up now when you do it like that you might say okay but what do you do from there hit this arrow right here and then it will pop up and you can do it however you want to like browse you can even double click the name and it comes up same thing for serato sample maybe that's where some of you guys are getting confused but it works like that now if you have other vsts or like complete ultimate or any of that stuff you can click right here and then drop this menu down make sure you are on the um i forgot what this term is for it but just make sure that's selected not your user but the other one and then you have your things, all your libraries, VSTs. Majority of these are contact libraries, but there are some other VSTs like Massive and whatnot in here. Just make sure that those, like, you know, make sure that's there and you'll see them there. And then another thing is make sure you're not on groups because when you're on groups, let me go ahead and go like this. You will not see those VSTs. You need to make sure that you are on sound. You just go to their um, developer and then go to them. So. Hopefully this was useful. This is for really for beginners. If you haven't been able to open up your VSTs inside a machine, I was really surprised at the amount of comments I get about how to open up VSTs and machine this week. So I promised that I would drop this video. So that way I didn't have to try and explain it in the comments because it would have been too much. Like I started to say, go ahead and go to the plus sign under sound one. I mean, maybe you would have understood it, but I feel like it was too much to try and do in a comment. And I promise that I'll drop a video on it. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video hopefully this was helpful if you have any more questions just drop a comment below i appreciate everybody for tuning in hopefully you all have a wonderful day take care